Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula Review of LEGO Set 8486 Max Team Truck. It has 374 pieces for ages 7 to 12, but I still bought it anyway. It's from Cars 2, brought to you by Disney and Pixar, and this set retails for $39.99. Here on the front we see Mac and McQueen, and I just want to note that the details on McQueen and the eyeballs over here are the only marked pieces in the set. That means everything else you see here are stickers. Alright, so not so bad. Here on the side, we see Mac and McQueen again. Note that mentions though, but if you're curious, Mac in the trailer is about a foot long and three inches tall, okay? McQueen is one by two inches. Now here on the back, we see more details. Okay, we see the features. And in here, those are stickers too. And down here, take a closer look, those are stickers as well. So I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Alright, first we have McQueen, who is really cool. I really like the details here, on the top especially. Here's the side, it's really nicely done. There's the bottom. And this is about the same size as a Hot Wheels or Matchbox, maybe slightly bigger. Okay, there's the front, where he's got that hot shot look. I just want to point out that this is the classic version of McQueen. So this is the one that you see on all the promotions and the posters. On the back of the instruction book, they have a checklist here, which is really nice. Okay, as you can see, there are three different types of McQueen. You have Classic, Radiator Springs, and we have World Grand Prix. Alright, so if you're a huge fan, just want to let you know that there are three different ones for you to collect. And the way you tell is by the different markings on the top, the side, and the hood. Even the back, okay, so that's pretty much it for him. Let's take a look at the accessories. Alright, here we have the toolbox which is a very straightforward build. Okay, this goes inside the trailer, which I'll show you that later. And here we have the cone, which I think is really cute. All right, there it is. You have a flag sticking out of it. And there's a sticker that goes on there, but I didn't bother with that. So here's what it looks like without it. All right, let's take a look at Mac. Okay, here is Mac. All right, he's a really solid build. Okay, there's the top. There's the side. There's the bottom. And here we have the back. I'm not fond of these parts. I mean, they're really cool, but I find them to be somewhat loose. Okay, here are the mirrors. They're adjustable. Okay, and here's the front. You can probably switch the eyes around to get another funny face out of it, but otherwise, the playability is really straightforward. That's it. Okay, let's take a look at the trailer. Somehow, I get the feeling that this is the main attraction, and tell you the truth, it's why I bought this set. Okay, the trailer looks really nice. I get this Optimus Prime feeling to it, even though that's not what it is. I especially love the design here. That's a really good job, and it looks really cool. Okay, here's the side, and here's the bottom. Okay, this part can close like so. There are no suspensions on the wheels, alright, so that's that. Okay, and here we have the back, where we have the ramp here. I'm not too fond of the way they made that, but I understand that's how McQueen gets inside. Okay, this top part can open up like so, and this side panel can open all the way like this, and that's how you play with the inside. Over here, we have a TV, okay, and this is where you put the tools. It's only attached by these two studs right here, okay, which honestly, I think that's a weird spot for it because it gets in the way of the TV. I don't watch my TV like that, and I don't know anyone who does, but that's how McQueen does it, especially when he's on the road, alright, and there we have it, okay. What's really interesting about this trailer is that it is seven studs wide. I like that. They actually did a really good job in implementing the parts and making it look really cool, okay, so that's pretty neat. And this attaches the Mac right here, okay, it goes into that little hole right there, don't get any funny ideas, alright, and there we have it. Now the only bad thing about that is that when you detach the trailer, sometimes it takes that part with it because it's kind of tight. But otherwise, it's a pretty good build. All right, I'm pretty happy with the way they made this set. And as far as parts are concerned, it's pretty good with the parts, especially if you like the red ones. All right, and that sums up my review. All right, I hope to see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for watching.